On the heels of a deadly weekend in Milwaukee, some are trying to do their part to put an end to violence. Kareen Zell is live with more on a march through the north side. Kareen. Carol, those who walk through the streets tonight realize marching won't change everything, but say it's a start. No more killing! The reason for all this? 19 people got shot over the Memorial Day weekend. That, 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 was, that's the, that was the kicker right there. Four of those people died. The past weekend, it was just ridiculous to be us living in Milwaukee. A group met at 35th and Hampton, where one of the victims lost her life. Everybody is dying in this world just for nothing. We refuse to let um, this year, this summer, be like how it was the past few summers. Reverend Kevin Stewart believes prayer is part of the healing process, and so is taking to the streets. And I think by being outside, listening to the people, and asking them, how can we help? Several neighbors coming outside to join in. Stop the killing! I'm just surprised at how much, you know, um, participation we're getting for people on the streets and driving by and coming out of their houses and walking with us. Some marchers are focusing on making connections with young people. There's a lot of things happening with our youngsters, and I think it can start with them because they're our future. Others asking the community to look close to home. We all got family members and they got criminal records and is living a criminal life. We need to talk to them. The people who marched tonight weren't discouraged by the low turnout. They plan to hold more rallies and believe the movement will catch on. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Kareem Zell, today's TMJ4.